So here we have the world famous gummy bear potassium chlorate demonstration. And what I have in the um, fire tubes, which are very thick walled uh, test tubes, is potassium chloride, KClO3. And as you probably have learned or will learn or hopefully learn, KClO3 is a strong oxidizing agent, it's a heat sink. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to heat this potassium chlorate into a liquid. Now, one reaction to generate oxygen, heated decomposition of potassium chlorate produces oxygen. So one way to produce oxygen in a lab is take potassium chlorate, heat it, and you'll make KCl and oxygen. But right now, what kind of change you should be seeing is a physical one as I'm melting the solid. No chemical reaction, but the heat of decomposition of the liquid or the solid does produce oxygen gas. So if I was to light a match above this tube, and I don't think I have a match here, okay, I could probably show that. Brina, do I have any matches on that on that cart right there? Not that, no, below, the lower part. All right, let's see if we can light one. Yeah, so Frieza's going to help me. She's going to light a match. Oh, no, I don't know if I want to do this. And I'll grab it. Okay. Oh. So as we're making this, I'm lighting a match. I'm going to see if I can increase the rate of combustion. Probably not. Yeah, I'll probably need a splint, but it's okay. It's all right. It's all, all good. Right. So I'm almost ready. So in any case, that didn't quite work, but I now have the potassium chlorate into a liquid phase. See, it's boiling. All right, and in this white smoke, if you can see, is the potassium chloride salt produced. All right, so we're ready to rock and roll. Now I'm going to add some America's Choice gummy bears. Okay, everyone's best tasting gummy bears, and these, of course, are made with sugar. And we're going to make a chemical reaction with, all right, sugar and potassium chloride. Sugar being the reducer, okay, and the um, uh, potassium chloride, the oxidizer. So without further frost. Let's make these gummy bears dance! Obviously a very exothermic demonstration. If you're wondering where we're pumping out that gas, everyone knows, right? Elementary playground. No. More. Make them dance. See the caramelized carbon on the bottom. And really, just a transfer of electrons. KCl3 is ripping the electrons away from the sugar. And you're making very stable compounds in KCl and nickel energy is released. Overall, an exothermic reaction because there's more energy released in forming new bonds than energy being uh, absorbed to break the old ones. And there she is. Thank you very much. Rock on.